All right, guys, so part two of Mega Live. So we installed it a couple days ago. We are finally out on the water. Um, it is the day after the shortest day of the year. Plus we kind of have a full moon going away. So we'll see what that does for just fish in general. We're supposed to have major feeding times today about 9.30ish. So hopefully we can uh, have this guy dialed in and we can kind of be set up in the area we need to be so that we can take full advantage of that major feeding time. So why don't we come up front, take a quick look and we'll run through some settings and see what effects it has on the Mega Live. All right, so here's our screen. We got Mega Live on right now and it did take i would say probably about five to ten minutes for it to even recognize this morning when i had it in the water i just uh dropped it in fired up turned both graphs on and just kind of let it sit there while i let the engine warm up before the first run and it took quite a while but i finally got it uh, picked up on here now and i've gone through and already adjusted a couple settings but we'll take a quick look at it so if you hit menu mega live ping on obviously um, mega live mode is set to auto I can go ahead and go to down or forward view and then of course you have landscape as well if I'm going to bring it back because I'm going to run forward for a little while otherwise I have to adjust the transducer so I will bring that up in fact there is the warning talking about that as well and how to use it since it's the first time so we're going to go ahead and exit out of that next option um, forward display mode this is gonna change the number of degrees that you are running at. So you can see here where I can adjust it and click it down to open up a wider view. I think for me, this, that 20 looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna be able to see out quite a ways out in front of me and of course down and then right underneath what's going on on the boat. I am picking up a little bit of the feedback coming across from the 360 that a lot of people have talked about seeing. Uh, let's go down to the next option on here is going to be our sensitivity so i've got it set to one right now you have a scale of negative 10 to 20. so if i start increasing my sensitivity you'll notice those ping rings are really starting to pick up and then we did get a lot more kind of distortion down here where now you can see a gradient so i'm going to go ahead and drop that back down to one it's right about where i'm starting to lose those ping rings I'm afraid if I go any farther down, I'm going to um, potentially not see some fish. So I'm going to go ahead and start off and leave it at 1. If I drop down to the contrast, you can see I've got that at 16. So as I increase the contrast, this line starts to get smaller. And when I drop that contrast down, you can see I start to get all kinds of distortion. And I'm picking up feeding or feedback on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that guy right back to 16, I think is where I had it set. Um, seems like it might be a pretty good spot. Next option is the dynamic contrast. I have it turned on. You can turn it off and you can see that you lose a lot in here. So I want a little bit of that sharper edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that dynamic, contra dynamic contrast on. Next one, your forward range. I set it to 35 from the first fishing trip out there it seems like it's extremely effective from 55 and under but i'm going to be fishing close to the bank and under some docks today so i just set it at 35 for now your down range this is just going to depend on what kind of depth you're in i'm currently sitting in 27 feet of water so i could technically set this for let's say 30 feet of water i want to see that bottom come up there it is right there so i'm actually going to go a little bit past that and still want a good field of view. So we're gonna leave it right there at 40. And then you got all kinds of color options. It comes set on number two. I'm gonna go ahead and probably run it on three, but as you can see, here's a kind of a yellow, a green, black and white, blown, or this is a negative or reverse. A green again, a blue, purple with a little bit of yellow, Again, this looks like a kind of yellow greenish. Got the blue background on that same. And that's number 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that all the way back down. There's number one, which is purple. I'm gonna leave it on number three for now. And then the range grid. I kind of like the idea of turning that on. It's pretty straightforward. It gives you all your lines so you know how far out whatever it is you're looking at is. And then the last one, how far do you want those set at? Range menu for par. Sixteen, and then the multi-beam 
super user menu. We will dabble in that a little bit later, but I wanna pull up on an object here so you can kind of see what it looks like. So what you're seeing right here is the chain for the mooring buoy. Oop, let me get it pointed right back at it. So there is a mooring buoy right there, no wake. And you can see clearly there's the part that's underwater and then a little bit you can pick up a little bit of the chain that's kind of going down see how that chain is going straight down underneath it you can see it in this quadrant right there so that's pretty good we're only about i don't know 10 feet away from that so we're going to go ahead and it says 15 feet on the graph actually we're going to go ahead and pull up here just because i've seen a little bit of disturbance while we're talking and see what we can pick up underneath one of these docks all right, so right off the bat, you can see a cable line right there. And of course, you can also see where that cable is that I just went over on the other side of that just a few minutes ago. So if I scan around, let's head up a little bit toward this bank and see if I can do this without stepping on it. So there's the side of the dock you're seeing right there and there. So as I scroll down, more of the dock, but then there's a couple little objects down here on the very bottom um, that would be interesting. And then I'm just gonna slowly scan along the bank. And now I'm pointing at that other dock out in front of me. And you can see where the bank is starting to get deeper. Um, I'm, this is starting to point off away from the bank. So you can see my line is going farther off. So let's just go ahead and go down in between these docks and start fishing a little bit and see what we can come up with. So one of the things I'm definitely noticing for sure is that when you have your slope or your bank that you're looking at on live, you might come up and see a rock. And then as the boat is drifting, it looks like that object's coming closer to you. So you're gonna have to get really good at distinguishing, is that a fish that's swimming up behind a lure? Is that a rock because the boat's drifting or a branch or whatever it may be that's your structure on your lake? So that's one of the things I'm noticing. Uh, I'm gonna come around the corner here. We do have some more branches and I can kind of mimic that so you can see, hey, this is an object that's moving close to the boat because the boat's moving, not necessarily a fish swimming. That way you're not out there chasing ghosts in the water. And bye bye, buddy. All right, so the three different views, if we want to take a still look at it, is going to be the forward mode, down mode, and landscape. I definitely think I will be using forward whenever I'm fishing moving baits will definitely be my most popular. However, I do drop shot a lot on some of the lakes I'm on and I can see down being very, very useful. I did not get a chance to try landscape on this trip, so we will try that at a later time. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. That is your Mega Live uh, installed on an Ultrex basic settings right there. Hopefully we'll get a chance to get out on the water here pretty quick. And when we do get out on the water, we can actually use some of those settings and actually start to video some fish chasing baits and get a good look of what that's gonna look like for you uh, whenever you've got yours installed on the boat. All right guys, until next time, I will see y'all out there on the water.